Hello everybody, my name is Drum here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we went through pretty much every single starbase that we have in an effort to try to queue in some more anchorages and run a bunch of upgrades to get more anchorages because we need to expand our naval capacity to get all of the reinforcements that I want to add. That project is going on. Um, we also finished our Tac Moon construction site and our Penrose Sphere. Now, they both have ongoing projects. That's Screeching Abyss. Wrong black hole. The Penrose Sphere is being stabilized. 1300 days left. And the Attack Moon is over here. Uh, 666 days remaining on the construction of the propulsion systems. So. That is where we're at there. Now, the next couple of projects is going to be to build an orbital shipyard over here around the Wolf 3591. Around the Wolf 3591, there. Um, we might also want another crystal megabore around Wolf 3591A. Because why not? And um, I think we should be able to build a ring world around a Penrosphere, if I remember correctly. So that's what this construction ship is heading over there to prepare for. So we've got a lot of plans in the pipe right now. Now, another major thing that we need to start considering is our sentient metal. Now, I wondered... In last episode, why our total income of sentient metal was dropping, and I was reminded that the um, uh, the new sentient metal armor not only makes the ships cost sentient metal to build and upgrade, it also costs them sentient metal to maintain. So we are going to need to start expanding that resource rather significantly. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, or, or, you know, basically, you know, shown last episode, we don't have any more con new construction sites. So the only other option we're going to have is to replace existing structures with sentient metal. And does the EHOF produce? No, it produces um, quasi-negative mass. Do we cost quasi-negative mass? No, we do not upkeep on quasi-negative mass. It costs to build, but not maintain. So we don't need to worry about the quasi-negative mass so much. Um, we do need to worry about Saint Metal. So here is what we're going to do. Starting with the Earth Sector, we're going to head over here. Oh, actually, before we get to that, um, let's just take a quick look at the fleet uh, make sure that everybody is doing what we want them to do the ninth fleet you apparently have some upgrades go ahead and take care of that um yeah that looks good We're currently fighting on that planet. This fleet is getting close to being ready. We still need six more armies. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six more armies in training. So we're fine there. And this ship is... Why are you heading there? You have an actual... Uh, Planet to colonize over here. Oh, right. That's going to take... Oh, we're going to blow it up. We're going to blow it up. That's what we we're going to do. Now I remember. We have the Overlord heading over there to blow that planet into pieces. Because it's going to be too much of a pain in the butt to try to occupy. All right. 
Now we'll let the game run a little bit while we work on this other project. Okay. We're gonna go to the oldest planets that we currently have, starting with Earth. And we're gonna start replacing things. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. Yeah, that's a mega forge. That's a nano plant. Base production, 15, 16. Administrative. Do I really need the civilian fabricators right now? We're at plus 2,000 consumer goods. I don't think we do. So we're going to go ahead and replace. They are assaulting our spaceport. Some of these consumer goods factories. The cheaper ones, the better, or the, the, the lower capacity ones, the better. With some sentient metal Scientific foundries. Breakthrough achieved. All right, now we got to research to take a look at. All right, just give me a moment. Sacred Nexus. No, I want to keep that. Hyper Entertainment Forums. Uh, jobs based production. Yeah, we kind of do need that. We do not need the robot assembly plants. Replace the robot assembly plants with an embassy complex. Increase my available envoys. Well, that might be a thing we do eventually. But right now, sentient metal. Does Earth have a robot? No. But you do. Cancel that. Play that order. Replace this with... No, not synthetic crystals. Sentient metal. We don't need all of these robots. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Hydroponic farms. We're plus 2k on food. Let's replace the hydroponic farms here. Ancient metal. Uh, and then we're going to have to go back once these are all done and upgrade them. Alright, so here we're also we're going to do the uh, civilian industries. Replace the civilian industries. Ancient metal. Robot assembly plants. Sentient battle. Those are kind of just a waste of space right now. Now, Venus doesn't have anything, so I don't know. Well, that's fine. All right. So that's a start. That is a start. So let's go ahead. Simplify circuitry. Starbase building alloys cost minus 25. All right. Excellent. Psionic thrusters. Uh, flak arrays. Civilian replica complexes. Ripper auto cannons. Battleship hull points. Let's just go ahead and knock out the stuff that's easy. Okay, we've successfully occupied that planet. We're down two armies, but well, we can replace that. All right, now over here. Now, what to do with you? What are you doing? I think these guys are actually going to stay out here. So this... All 
Right, Zarklands Pilgrims and the Eighth Fleet can begin moving back to the Ross 154 system. All right, so the next, the Reach Sector. Let's take a look. What do we got? More robot assembly plants. Let's replace those. Reach. Robot assembly plants. Because the other thing we did do is I did a uh, gene modification of the entire human species. And so we've removed our uh, slow breeders. So that will help increase pop levels. We don't need the robots. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Relic activation available. Ooh. I can activate the head of Zarklan again. Zarklan wills it. All right, so we should have another Zarklan's Pilgrims. We'll take a look at that in just a second. All right, uh, what do we have? Yeah, there it is. And there's the other Zarklan's Pilgrims. So I want these two fleets to merge, please. There we go. Now, the other concern that we're gonna have is what does a sentient metal foundry actually Construction do? Complete. What does it cost me? Construction complete. I might wanna be careful about that. It converts alloys and energy credits. Okay, so yeah. I'm actually going to hold off. Roddy's, Roddle's Ruby is where we stopped. We'll get all those built, and then we'll see where we're at. And then we'll do some upgrades, and then see where we're at. Edict duration increased. Uh, naval capacity plus 20. Civilian replica complexes, advanced portable districts, factory ship components. There we are. That's what we need. Do it. Two months. Commonwealth of Shar has completed a gateway. Good. More power to him. Not of all these planets over here that are colonizable. It's a thought. We have the um the room to do it. Alright, what is the what does the desert world in the Stockton system have here? Dust caverns, bubbling swamp, crystal forest, here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, they're good. Go ahead and colonize that one. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the athletes. Go send them over. Alright, the weapon is charging. 
Energy weapon attack, speed, artisan's output plus 10%. Hmm. Predictive consumerism. That improves our consumer goods, I believe. Well, we don't really need it, but it's cheap. Building cost minus 5%. Let's go with that. Factory ship components is done. Industrial, ultra rapid replication, planetary build speed, and pop assembly speed. Ah, uh, yes. No, we actually should have. We don't. Autocomplete ship. Oh, that's not exactly the best. I don't think we're going to put sentient metal armor on this thing. Uh, we'll go with the neutronium armor. Um, we don't need this to be able to withstand like enormous amounts of fire. Uh, chrysalis layered tissue. And hyper shield capacitors. We don't need anything that deals with weapons because it doesn't, it can't mount any weapons. All right, what are our options for components over here? Um, portable generator district. Uh, we could use it, I guess. Portable mining district. I would rather have a portable foundry district. We don't need the food. Portable leisure district. Unity. Portable research district, that would be nice. More foundries and consumer goods? Nah. Maybe energy credits. And, and energy credits, please. There you go. What's up, auto upgrade, I guess? Oh, what's gonna be? Yes, 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 I know. This is going to be the Nostromo class. There you go. Save that. Now... Civilian convoy departure. Civilian convoy has started its journey from Kutel. The ship will now head toward the closest colony inside our borders and distributed cargo. Okay. Sounds good. Now, I was looking at this. We, have, we can build 47 factory ships. We can build 11 Titans. We have 9 Titans. We've been insulted by the new Yapathi Khanet. Well... Yeah, yeah, enjoy that while it lasts, ya pathy. We're coming for you, eventually. All right, what was I doing? Building a factory ship. All right. They're expensive. Give me two of them, and let's see what we do. Sentient Metal Foundry, 60 days. How are we doing for Sentient Metal? Plus 12. Civilian colony coming... Civilian convoy coming from a Forge World has arrived in the Dukalex. The cargo is now being distributed on the planet. Alloys from Metal Earth plus 2% on that planet. Alright, produces 6 alloys. Oh, that's fine.
Feral Syndicate has declared war on the Feral Conglomerate. All right, we got a civil war going there. The next core is still kicking around. Our ships have been made superior. Uh, the Feral Syndicate looks to us for support. Greetings, Empress Ilmus the First. We are the Feral Syndicate from Jorg Sakra. We recently revolted from your enemies. Uh, the despised Feral Conglomerate, which still threaten us with their superior resources in the interest of pursuing the struggle against the further. Are you able to provide us with any support? Who? Where are you? Real Entity, Morge Hawkskin. Uh, come with a Shar Valthari. Union of a Thul. Blessed me, Shar. Feral Conglomerate. These guys are the Feral Syndicate. Here's the Feral Monopoly. There, there's the Feral Syndicate. Huh. Do we care? Let's see, what do we send? 100 energy credits and 100 minerals deducted from the income of the Empire for the next 10 years. A hundred and a hundred? For ten years? Yeah, go for it. Uh, no, we're not giving them a fleet. They can use some resources. If they can't win with the resources, then, you know, so be it. I'm not giving them ships. All right, so this guy's arrived there. No, we won't be able to build anything. Gateway construction site habitat. Apparently we can build gateways. Machine uprising in the Commonwealth of Shar. The 001 fabricators. Oh, really? Well, keep it in your borders. Oh, actually, battle is joined. I was just about to take a look. Say so that uh, our planet cracker should be firing soon. So much for your planetary shield. So the shield is still there. Something happening? I wonder what would happen if I went around and blew up every single one of their planets. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't blow up the ones that I currently occupy. It probably wouldn't even let me do it. Alright, I'm gonna have you jump to the brook system, just in case. You guys are going to stay there, just in case. Minus 33? 
We still need at least one more point of occupation score. Thing is, I don't know if we can. We're at plus 50. Well, we'll see. We're about to eliminate one of more of their armies. I would say we need at least one more army to go down before we'll be ready to actually land troops and occupy the planet. Alright, we just finished. A whole bunch of sentient metal foundries. And I'm going to need to let this go through a month transition. Month again plus. And now we're at plus 147 sentient metal. There we go. That did it. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the foundries in the Earth sector and just the Earth sector. We'll leave it there. And then we'll see what it does. All right, who's still upgrading? Just out of curiosity. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, planetary build speed and pop assembly speed is up. Asteroidal manufacturing plants. Asteroidal manufacturing. Allows us to basically build a megastructure that pumps out consumer goods. Metal processing dockyards, cruiser alloy cost minus 100. That would be nice. Crystal neutronium armor six. An improvement to our current armor. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the metal processing dockyards. All right, the first fleet and the second fleet Second Fleet could use some upgrades. Go ahead and upgrade Second Fleet. 725 sentient metal. If I were to buy a pile of sentient metal, how long would it last? Not very. Who's upgrading? The Sixth Fleet? Yeah, it's the Sixth Fleet that is, uh... Consuming all of our sentient metal right now. Alright, that's fine. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll queue in the second fleet. Let them kind of get in line. Colony ship's almost there. Alright, where are you at? 91% on that project. Where are we at on the attack moon? 332 days. 
And still a ways to go on the Penrose Sphere, I'm assuming. One thing that might be nice to build would be Neutronium Gigaforge would be beautiful. We'd have to find a neutro uh, neutron star. Where is... Huh. Can I not build a second primordial pylon? No, there it is. Oh, we lack the sentient metal to build it. I see. Well, that makes sense. The conquest of a new world has begun. All right, colony ship is landing. All right, ninth fleet is fully armed scientific breakthrough achieved. and operational though it isn't we still need more battleships cannot afford to reinforce the fleet probably because yeah now we need um sentient metal to reinforce the fleets so we're actually gonna need a lot of that So maybe that Neutronium Mega Forge is going to have to go up higher on the list because we're going to need more alloys. We're also going to need more energy credits. Well, hopefully the um, stabilized Penrose Sphere here is going to uh, help with that. All right, but I think we're going to end the episode here. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Well, actually, let's deal with the science. Naval capacity up. Um, administrative capacity. Leader lifespan, I guess, we'll take. We got, what, building costs down. Actually, no. Go with the artisan's output. Uh, metal processing dockyards, cruiser alloy costs down. Trigauss cannons, cruiser hull points. Let's, let's say the Trigauss cannons. All right. So with that, we're going to end the episode here. And then we'll see what we can get up to. This massive outlay of um, sentient metal should only be a one-time thing, at least for the upgrades, because once we're upgraded, we're upgraded. All right. Yeah, we're going to end here, and um, just keep on waiting to see what happens with the war. We got one more planet to land on here. And then we'll have to see if that increases our occupation score or not. And then we'll see how it goes. Continue working on improving our metal and other things. Now I need to look and take at the star bases and see who's ready for more anchorages. All right, but for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.